Folks, we would like to get started. I, uh, I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much uh, for being part of the 45th anniversary Night Under Fire. It worked the very first Night Under Fire 45 years ago. This is going to be a very emotional night for a lot of us. Uh, for me, certainly. Um, there has never been a night under fire that has been more important to me personally than this one. Um, and, not, and it has nothing to do with financial gain or financial reasons whatsoever. Um, it has to do because I'm not doing it with my dad. So, I know <laughs> what he expects. I know what he wants, and I know how I know somehow I'm going to be graded immediately following this event, either by a lightning strike or uh, a rainbow. Or but, but one day we will talk about this event. We will have a post-event meeting to discuss the 45th annual Night Under Fire. I can guarantee you that. This is very special, and and um, you were invited. Here, um, because we wanted you to be part of this special event. So what I would like to do is I want to go through the script, touch some highlights, um, and then we'll get everybody uh, back to your pit area. Our outlaw dragster and pro mod, 2:30 test hit. Um, 3.15, autograph session. That'll go from 3.15 to 4.15. We're going to start loading the lanes um, at 5.15. By 5.30, free race officially begin. And then by 5.40, we are officially into free race parade. As much a patriotic event as, as anything. We are proud Americans, and we want to display those American flags proudly. People are filing in. We'll be introducing the stars of tonight's show. At 6.30, we'll get some things uh, set on the racetrack. Um, I will thank our fans for our 60 years of success. At 6.35, we have a check presentation to the Hope Over Heroin organization. At 6.40, we're going to do a veteran tribute. At 6.50, we will do our American flag tribute. We'll do our invocation with RFC chaplain Kevin Cook at 6.52. Um, I have a patriotic message that will probably piss off a few people at 6.54. Yeah. And if they don't like it, that gate swings both ways. Mm -hmm. I appreciate all of the cards and letters and text messages and hugs right at the national event um, on Sunday. Um, it all means more than you know. And um, let's be safe, let's have fun, and God bless America. Thank you. What is your anxiety level at this point every time before you do one of these things? You know, I, I, uh, this is my 45th year, and the anxiety is always the same. It's through the roof. Every year is like the first year, and maybe that's because I care, and maybe when I don't get anxiety, I won't care. But on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a freaking 100 right now. She is currently number 8 in the point standing from Austin, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming the eight-time NHRA national event winner, Alexis DeJuria. Down in his sights from Torrance, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the driver of the Snap-on Tools Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, Cruz Pedregon. He is the crew chief, he is the driver, he is a multiple time IHRA world champion and he so touched my heart with a picture of my dad on the hood. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dale Creasy Jr. He is the driver of the Auto Club of Southern California Chevrolet.
and he is the current NHRA National Point Leader. Make some noise for Robert Hyde. 134 final round appearances. From San Luis Obispo, California, driver of the Napo Auto Parts Toyota Supra and the newest team owner, ladies and gentlemen, Ron Caps. It's a circus. It's P.T. Barnum at its best. They know how to promote it. Uh, they pack them in here. Uh, they give them all kinds of racing. And uh, at the end of the day, um, uh, they give them the biggest fireworks show I've ever seen. Uh, the loss of uh, Bill Bader Sr., very sad, uh, too early in his time to go. Uh, but his boy, his legacy will live on through his son. If you're a fan and you've been to the Night Under Fire, you know. If you're a racer, and you've been invited, because you've got to be invited to this event, um, then you also know the passion that the Bader family's always had. And as a kid, I read about it, you know, with IHRA and all the stuff they would do, but I never really saw it up close until first coming here as an NHRA race, secondly, my first time ever at Night Under Fire, and you know, you walk out of the driver's meeting and he goes over what's gonna happen at each event and it's to the minute. I mean, something's gonna happen at 517 and something else is gonna happen at 627. I mean, it's that, he's that dialed in. We're in the entertainment business. That's what he always said. And we're gonna entertain him tonight. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we are so pleased with this weather that you provided us here today at Summit Motorsports Park. Tonight, Father, I would like to pray, pray blessing. I pray your blessing and peace, continued presence, on the Bader family, Father. I pray your blessing and safety on each and every performer and racer that goes down this track. I pray your blessing and protection on the men and women of the armed services. And we're thankful, Father, for the blanket of freedom that they uh, provide for us on a daily basis. And last but not least, Father, I pray your blessing on us. Please, God, bless these United States of America. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you serve in the U.S. Coast Guard, please stand and remain standing until all branches have been introduced. If you served in the U.S. Air Force or Air National Guard, please stand and remain standing with the U.S. Coast Guard. If you served in the U.S. Navy, please stand and remain standing with your U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Air Force brothers and sisters. If 
If you served in the U.S. Marine Corps, please stand and remain standing with your fellow military branches. If you served in the U.S. Army or Army National Guard, please stand. Please remain standing. I want you to understand, you know the most beautiful part of tonight? There are 40,000 people on this property who all love this country. There are 40,000 people on this property tonight that understand, respect, and appreciate the sacrifices that those of you are standing took in order to make this country and to keep this country free. And for those of you standing, this veteran tribute is from all the rest of us who are sitting. Each time I see a waving flag, my eyes see so much more. The ones who died to save us from an evil at our door. The Army and the Navy, the Air Force and the Marines have paid the price so I am free to live and see my dreams. The Army Reserve and Coast Guard, always at the country's call to serve, protect, and help us as they daily give their all. No matter where you go to fight, where you may live or serve, please know that there are those at home who mean these grateful words. Because of you, this country lives in freedom, peace, and wealth. And I don't take for granted every battle war has dealt. Though grateful words are not enough, and they can never be, I'll say truly what's on my heart. Because of you, we are free. country, and I will never apologize for that. We live in the greatest country in the world. Even with all the turmoil, the unrest, and the struggles, we live in the greatest country in the world. And you know what? Sometimes we need to be reminded, so I'm reminding you. We live in the greatest country in the world. And if you don't want this country, get the hell out of here! And I mean that, and I'll refund your ticket on the way out the door. the Cleveland chapter of the 82nd Airborne Division Color Guard. It is also my pleasure to introduce the Rhythm and Rhyme Barbershop Quartet. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand and join with us as these four men sing the national anthem of the greatest country in the world.
And if you want, why don't you sing along with us? Ladies and gentlemen, the singing alone, American National Anthem.
So you need to just be aware of that. Mary, please tell your photographers that if, we're, if they're where they shouldn't be, they're going to lose their face. Okay. Um, for the finale, we are going to be shooting from eight locations. We're going to be shooting from across the street. We're going to be shooting from a 100-foot JLG. We're going to be shooting from the roof of the media center. We're going to be shooting from the roof of the suites. We're going to be shooting from the roof of the bathrooms. We're going to be shooting from the roof of, the, of race control and both sides of the racetrack. That is going to be eight locations. Um, we also have a hundred, 110 gallons of gas over there for some absolute kick-ass gas bombs. If you're by the scoreboards, you'll be fine. So you will know the end of the show because you are going to see, hopefully, a phenomenal mushroom cloud that will be the very end of the 45th Cornwall Tools Night Under Fire. <laughs>